Yeah, I saw the free current. Can I have one? Yeah, of course. Is it for yourself? Yeah, this cover. I never will. Yeah, we, we don't usually like the French, but I'll make an exception for you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Let me see. Okay. Uh, are you religious? I'm assuming no, not. I'm, uh... <laughs> Who are you? Um, nothing. But what I can say? You are something, man. Why are you yeah, talking about? Okay. <laughs> Trying to find so, my way. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, do you believe in a creator at least, or? No. Okay. So, how do you? Well, I like I like mm, but, nothing, but nothing especially. But uh, yeah. I yeah. Like but France is like against religion a lot yeah. as a country, right? Yeah. So, uh, so even I think the people who are religious are, are kind of looked down upon by the community in a way so do you see someone who's religious I think the community looks down upon them I don't think even it matters what your religion is but they would look at you like you are someone who's from yeah. the past you know you need to, to yeah yeah you need, you need to bring the day in the French website we need to bring you the light yeah yeah enlighten me at least enlighten me okay that's, that's what we're saying yeah. but you know I moved in Canada six years ago from okay. France because yeah fucking friends feel like uh, always they bring you the light but they don't see even French don't like France man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah. So, so when it comes to the existence of the Creator, let me ask you this question, right? Yeah. Don't you think that the existence of God is a part of human nature? Yeah, I think. Right, that, that we are born as humans. Gods, because, yeah, yeah the higher power, let's yeah, use right, a higher power, right? Yeah. We are born believing in a higher power, yeah. don't you agree? Yeah, so, agree. The, this idea of atheism is a new thing that has been introduced to the people. But uh, there are studies on that, by the way. Oxford University conducted a study. But uh, Justin uh, Barrett right, is a big professor in, in Oxford University. He brought 50 academics, I believe, right? And they conducted studies on children from 20 different countries. And the study took three years. And he said in the end that these children are innately believing in a higher power. Yeah. Without any control, without, from countries yeah, like China. They believe in that. So yeah. Believe so, in so, so in each civilization get something to believe yeah. in higher. Exactly. Every civilization believed in some sort of higher power. So on my side, I, I think like science, like you say, the light part in France is a belief. Yeah, you believe in science, you think that the world is a belief. Yeah, yeah, but there is no conflict between the two. I think that's the problem that some people kind of make, right? Is that they, they assume there is a conflict between the idea of the existence of God and the idea of science yeah but they don't conflict no, like, like for example for example science yeah. what is science do you know what science is like the scientific method yeah, it's a yeah. It's a so, the method yeah the scientific method is to, to study the physical world yeah. through experimentation repeatability and falsification right do you know the person who developed that method is a muslim no okay so his name is hassan ibn, ibn al-haytham al hassan ibn al-haytham you can you can google he has a book called optics and he's the one who developed the new scientific method that we're using today right okay. so muslims developed the scientific method it's not like we're against science we don't yeah, have yeah, issues yeah yeah i saw in the, the, uh, the first astrolab was yes. developed by the, the muslims yeah 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 yeah. Even even one of the physicians, Ar Razi, he, there's a statue in France for for him in universities there because he of the the contributions that Muslims brought forward, right? So what I'm trying to say is this: is if the idea innate, we have this idea innately of the belief of the Creator, where does it come from? I'm, I will, I'm making the claim that it comes from the Creator. Because where would it come from? Some people would say, okay, this is an evolutionary kind of thing that we develop. But the idea of belief in God is not in favor of survival and reproduction. Because when you believe in God, there is more deaths that happen and all that, right? Yeah. So uh, you can die for the sake of God, but that's against your survival and, and reproduction. Yeah. So evolution doesn't like religion really. So it can uh, convince you that there is a God, right? Yeah, yeah. So this idea, where does it come from? So we are saying, if someone is a, is an atheist, um, I would say that person is deviating from the innate way that God has cre created him. So you have to be influenced by society to move you away from religion. Because some people say, look, he believes in religion, he's influenced to believe in religion. It's actually the opposite. You're influenced to become an atheist because naturally you would yeah, believe yeah, in a creator. Inside, uh, yes. believe in something. Like when, let's say, the Jews say, when Abraham go out to the cave, say, we're, we're putting the, the sun going in the east and going exactly. the sand. Exactly, exactly. So we have to find something because we have questions. So we exactly. Have so so don't you agree then that looking at this magnificent universe, it has to be something that brought it into existence. Something, some higher power. Don't you agree with that? I agree with that. Yeah, so that's what Muslims say. It's as simple as that, right? We say there's a higher power that brought the universe into existence. And then you mentioned Abraham, which is very interesting. We say that, look, there are tens of prophets that came throughout the times, right? They all had the same message. There is a higher power out there. <laughs> that higher power is worthy of your gratitude. It's worthy of you worship and the higher power gives you morality because without the higher power you cannot have objective morality yeah, yeah. you build a society like you build a, a cultural society with 
Exactly, exactly. Because if you don't have these rules, you will, have, you will make up your own rules. Yeah. And they will be deficient rules, problematic rules. And that's what we see. Like in the West, you see the highest rates today. In the first time ever, you can see the highest rates of depression when it comes to women, depression when it comes to women, suicide rates and all of that. Why? Because people are not content with the rules that they've made up after leaving the rules of God. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah. And then high stroke. Find a sense in the world. So you exactly. Have, exactly. And, you would, and you would know that very well because you're from France. So you see the opposite of religion, literally like push away religion completely, right? So you see how that can be problematic for human beings. So what we say as Muslims, God sent different messengers to our times. So we believe in Adam, Jesus, Moses, yeah. Noah. Prophets. We, prophets, we believe in all of them. We cannot be a Muslim unless you believe in Jesus and Moses and Noah and Abraham. You have to yeah. believe in all of them. So we believe that God sent these messengers and they brought scriptures to their people. Yeah, the Catholics have done like the messengers. Yeah, they, 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 okay. they don't like, uh, why? Why? I don't know. But when, when they came, I wasn't the Catholic church. They, they say when there is a schism between Protestant and Catholic, say the Protestant destroy everything here in Catholic. And when they, when the Catholic, Spanish Catholic came, yes, the, ah, there was a big war. And, the Americans uh, yeah, destroy yeah. everything. Yeah, absolutely, everything. absolutely. And you, you know what? The, the, if you go today, some churches, if you go today and say Jesus was a messenger, they will kick you out. Yeah. So you have to say he's God. He's some. And I think you don't believe that. You don't believe a human being was God and he was killed on a cross. Or do you? Believe that which man could be a god jesus yeah jesus do you believe that human beings can be god and uh, that way like you, you you make the sentence no 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 in any way like i'll, I'll tell you this well i don't know yeah, think think about it. Let's think about let's think about it, right? Human beings have a starting point, do you agree? Before human beings there was planet Earth. Before we started to exist. Do you agree? There was a universe. Yeah. So how could God be a human being when there was a universe and there was no human beings? I don't know because if I don't believe in God, I can believe in the highest thing, but Higher part. God is a way to understand the highest thing. So, oh, so you can have gods. Sure. So let, let me tell you this. Do you believe the highest thing brought the universe into existence? Because the universe, do you believe the higher power brought the universe into existence? Because the universe cannot come from nothing. Well, this is science. They say they come from nothing. Which scientist says that? Well, no. They don't say that. Well, they say yeah, there is an talking about the Big Bang. The beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah there is but the, the beginning, so it come from something, but we don't know what. It is. No, no. The Big Bang or something like. The, the Big Bang proves God. <laughs> Can I tell you why? It proves something, something before. Exactly. So we're agreeing, you know. <laughs> God, is, God is No, no. I will come. God. We don't need to use the word God, okay. right? Because I, I think it's the word who is bothering you. Yeah. Is the word. Leave the word. Okay. But I'm talking about the concept, right? If there is a Big Bang, if there is a Big Bang, right? Then something has to bring the energy and matter into existence. Have to cause them and and compress them and expand them and all of that. And these laws have to come from I agree, somewhere. I agree. Like my, my, my my best example is like you know you have a hurricane. So the science can prove how hurricane is going. You know the, the, the hot water and the cold weather. Yes, yes, yes. Like yes, yes. But then they can why. Yes. yes yeah, science explain doesn't explain why. Yes, it explains why. how it doesn't why explain the why. Hurricane came here on this Absolutely. Way this time. Even so even why doesn't. I could, I could believe in something higher. No, but I'll tell you something interesting. Science cannot science cannot explain, and this is something interesting. I'll tell you now that a lot of people don't talk about. Science cannot explain every how. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because there are some hows that are metaphysical. For example, your consciousness. Yeah. Science, we have the hard problem of consciousness yeah, yeah. because it's a metaphysical thing, right? So science even has limits in the how. Leave, leave the why, now, right? Like because that's why we cannot say what happened before the universe or how the the singularity came into existence. They don't have explanation because the how doesn't reach there, you know? Yeah, I agree. You're entering the metaphysical realm, right? So I'm saying, looking at the universe, don't you agree? The universe displays certain attributes of the creator. Like for well, forever created it, right? Yeah. We're not using the term God, but whatever created the universe, because I <laughs> like, yeah, so whoever created the universe had to have magnificent amount of power to create a universe so full of energy. Every atom is full of energy. If you split it, nuclear explosion, right? It has to have a, a knowledge and intelligence that we cannot even comprehend because there's information in the universe. There's yeah. laws, complex laws, right? It had to be not bound by time and space in the same way we are, yeah. right? So it can know the future because we're bound by past, present, but it created time and space, literally, yeah. right? So when you look at this, something that is eternal, that, that can know the future because it's not bound by time, right? Yeah. And powerful in a way we cannot know, intelligent in a way, what would we call that? What is the word you would use for it? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to use it. You don't have to use it. Yeah, you're my French side. Like, <laughs> okay. But you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to admit it. That's why I like to, to read about like, this thing. This 
because we yes. offer meat salad. Absolutely. So, like, so, so I'm saying it makes common sense if you think about yeah. it, you know? Just like it would make common sense that it has to be an intelligent entity that created this table and it needed material. When I look at the universe, it would make sense whoever created it need to have power, need to have these attributes, right? Yeah. By necessity. So it's not maybe, it's by necessity. Yeah. Or you cannot make the universe. Do you get what I'm trying to say, right? So what do you think about then the idea of profits? Do you agree that the God, or, or let's say the higher entity, yeah, sorry. <laughs> let's say the higher entity sends profits. Or let's use the word Allah. Allah is better, right? Do you believe that Allah or the higher power sends profits and message? Why, why, why? Some prophets. Yes. Maybe I not agree with this. You don't believe in prophets. You don't. You just. You don't prophets, like. Why some put this prophet and other knows? Why good. Good question. I will answer it. Okay. So I will say two things. First is if there is no prophets, I would say prophets are a necessity. So if there is a higher power that created the universe and it gave a role and purpose to everything in the universe, we're not the odd one out. So we also have a role and purpose. Now, how do I know my role and purpose? I need someone to give me the message. Now, the question is this. If there is no prophets and messengers and me and you can get message directly from God, we'll have chaos. You will say God said this to me. I'll say God said that to me. And then we'll, we'll fight with one another. Yeah. But there has to be individuals that they don't just claim that they are messengers. They have to bring evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we believe, for example, in Moses and Jesus and Abraham, they this brought... This is the problem, what matters? We don't have any prophets right now. So we don't have any proofs anymore. Excellent. This is our times. You're right. But but what we say as Muslims is that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger in a line of messengers, right? So what we say is the evidences that he came with, you can look at today. In order for you to, to know whether he's really a messenger or not, you want to see the evidences, right? We're saying today you can look at these evidences and you can know whether he was a messenger or not. So, for example, the Quran, we are saying, is the biggest miracle that any prophet or messenger came with. The Quran has information that no one knew in the past, that no one knew at the time of the prophet, that we are learning today. Yeah. For example, the Quran talks about the universe expanding. It talks about biological life, that everything living is created from water. And we know that everything living today is created from water because cells and every cell contains water, right? It talks about embryology, the baby in the womb. The stages, every stage that it takes for a woman, for, for sorry, for a human being to become a baby. You know? Okay. And and if you finishing you, oh, your <laughs> Okay, no problem. I'll let you go. Well, all I'm saying is this, right? Look into the evidences as well of Prophet Muhammad when you read the Quran. So read the Quran, which is I'm sure you will do. You're a very open minded, nice guy, right? So read the Quran and also think, as I said, research what are the evidences for Prophet Muhammad being a prophet. Because it's not just a claim that just a human being made like me, I say to you, I'm a messenger. No, it's someone actually showing you the evidences why he's a messenger, okay? I can give you a channel before you go to help you to look at the evidences if you want YouTube. on YouTube you don't want <laughs> accept the Quran okay no problem it's a good it's a good thing to do no problem no my pleasure if you have any questions please come back ask whatever you like yeah see you later no problem nice talking to you